Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title, today we're gonna be doing a Hot Cheeto look. And I actually have a couple Hot Cheeto makeup products. The first one being the Hot Cheeto palette. And we're gonna use this on the eyes today. We have the bronzer highlighter. We have an Ebon product that we're gonna use today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So just keep watching if you wanna see how I got this look. But before that, make sure you're subscribed and turn on the bell. I upload three times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So if that interests you, go ahead and you know subscribe, like the video if you want. And oh, I wanted to mention, I did get these earrings. They're like flaming. They're actually called like flaming hot like earrings or something. I bought them on the Hot Topic website. They're so pretty. They retailed for $6.90, um, but when I bought them, they were on sale for like $5.52 or something like that. I'll have them on the screen. They are so pretty, and I felt like they just went so well with this look today, and it's just amazing. And then the nails, I did want to mention, I got these on the Shop Missy website. They come already like pre-glued, and they're only $1. They are gorgeous. They're like iridescent. Yeah, that's it. That's the information that I have for you guys right now. But if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. I have my Starbucks here that my sister got for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So let's get started with eyebrows. I'm going to go in with my Ebony New York 24-hour pe brow pencil in natural black. Only $5. It's amazing. I always recommend. We're gonna throw on a little bit of eyeshadow primer and for that we're gonna use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance that I'm trying to use up. It's almost out of here. So I'm just gonna apply that. It's just not an eye, a good eyeshadow primer in my opinion. It's just so slippy and slidey. I don't like it. I, pers I prefer something kind of like full coverage, something that's gonna hide my veininess and hide my just discoloration. And just like at least apply a little bit of color but this one doesn't do anything for me so yeah next for face primer we're gonna go into my AOA clean slate primer and this one retails for one dollar on the Shamise website now I've heard some interesting things about this I've seen on the Shamise website you know sometimes there's reviews on there and there was this person that said that Shamise is deleting reviews like bad reviews about this product I did see one or two negative ones and then they're not there anymore which is weird um, so far I'm okay with it like I, don't, I haven't seen anything horrible about it but it's honestly not for oily skin yeah it's not for oily skin it doesn't help like mattify or do anything it's just a primer so this is one that I'm trying to use up I feel like after a couple uses it's already like I feel like it's getting empty so I'm just gonna use it up and I'm not gonna repurchase um, I don't just don't feel like there's any benefit to it for my skin type but it's nice it's it's cute I feel like it blends in so really fast and it does smell really good uh, if you're looking for it to mattify you throughout the day it's just not gonna do that I think that's what the person was um, trying to say in that review for foundation we're gonna go into the beauty creations flawless stay foundation retailing for $12 definitely one of my favorites in my collection that's why I keep reaching for it I just can't put it down it's so full coverage it's just beautiful on the skin not cakey at all it's just amazing definitely recommend if you haven't tried it I have mine in fs 7.0 and it's just really nice i love it just do not apply a lot as we've seen through my videos i apply a lot sometimes and it's just a little crazy but if you like a little bit of this goes a long way that's what i'm trying to say and it's just really nice i definitely recommend it okay i think that's enough going in with my beauty creations blending sponge So that's the foundation on. It's beautiful. Next, we're going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover 
concealer i have mine in golden natural so we're gonna go in with this i love it it's so also full coverage the most full coverage um, concealer that i have in my collection it's just really nice it's just a little too light for me so i do want to purchase a darker one but yeah it's nice i love the big dofa it's just so perfect Okay, next we're going to set the under eyes and we're using the Wet n Wild Contour Kit and this one here is in Dulce de Leche. I love this. I've used it before. I've used up one whole one. I've like hit pan on both shades. Such a good one. So we're going to go into this shade and we're going to set the under eyes. I'm also going to contour with this same Wet n Wild palette after we apply loose setting powder all over the face. It's a must because I have oily skin so I don't want to look like an oil oil ball later on going in with my tried and true my la colors loose setting powder and this one's in medium translucent i thought it retailed for three dollars but it actually retails for two dollars and it's um sold at the family dollar and i love it it's not sold online that i could see but it's such a good powder definitely recommend i love how it looks with this foundation in particular and on my other ones as well it's just really nice i love it and it's it lasts forever I get especially oily in my T-zone, so I really love to pack it on here and right here. I get really oily and right there. I'm going to give a little contour. I love this part. It's like my favorite one. So we're just going to contour the forehead and the cheekbones. Okay, for blush, I don't have a blush blush, but I'm going to use this Cheetos times Riley Rose Highlight Bronzer. And I've mentioned before, I mentioned in my blush video, it's just a really pretty color. I love to mix it. Um, yeah, I don't know how to use it other than that because it's a shimmery bronzer and it just looks orange on my skin. And then if I use it as a highlight, then it's going to look weird. So I do just mix it up and it becomes this beautiful orange glowy blush and it's just really pretty so we're gonna put this on the face today I believe this is on sale on the forever 21 website it was at this moment that i'm filming i don't know if it still is but it retails for 9.99 it's only this and the lip glosses that are available on the website the palette that we're gonna use it's not so i don't know where else you can get it if you were trying to just gonna go in with that like contour i love just putting blush on the face i just it's so relaxing especially with this brush i don't know what it is it's so nice to go too harsh so i'm gonna go in with my color switch just to tone it just because i pick up a lot sometimes and i'm gonna go in with my powder brush and just go all over mix in the contour so there it is on i wouldn't say go out and buy it just to use it as a blush honestly like i purchased this and the palette to review it which i did and i'll have that video down below um but i didn't know how else to use it so i use it as a blush just to try to use it and it's really nice i'm glad that i have it i wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't like new and people hadn't heard about it and i wanted to review it and i just wanted to have a couple products um yeah but it's nice i wouldn't say you know go out and buy it it's not that amazing um the eyeshadow palette is okay as well we're gonna use that right now actually so let's talk about that we have the cheetos times riley rose palette here and this retails for 15.99 i don't think it's available on the website anymore i honestly didn't see it it comes with a mirror and these shades here 
So we're not going to use every single shade, but we're going to try to use just the regular Hot Cheeto shades and yeah, try to create a Cheeto look. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to put on a little bit of the Too Faced Lip Injection just so our lips can be a little plump once we get to the lips. Just a little bit. Oh, you guys didn't tell me that I forgot highlighter. How did I forget highlighter? For the eyeshadow palette, we're going to go into the Master Chrome Highlight by Maybelline. And this one here is in Molten Gold. And it's such a gorgeous highlighter. I love it. So we're going to apply that on the cheeks. So pretty. I thought it would go amazing with this look because it's so golden and kind of orangey. It's perfect. that is the highlights it's so pretty i love it i'm so happy that i picked this up when i did this is so pretty i have the rose gold one as well such a fo great formula definitely recommend if you haven't tried them they have many like shades now they expanded the shade selection and it's just really beautiful on the skin i love it definitely recommend this so i'm just going to build up the colors we're going to go in with that yellow shade first and put down a sh like a transition shade i'm going to use that as a transition we're going to use some glitter as well. Oh my god, this color is really pretty. It's building up nicely. Nice. I love it. It's so cute. Like, it goes on and it's bright. But then it just, like, kind of tones down. And it just looks really nice. I like it. Ish brush. And we're going to go into that orange shade and... Let's put that on the outer. Oh, they are a little powdery. So I'm going to try to avoid fallout. The orange shade, because the yellow shade wasn't doing that, but... And then we're going to take that red and just apply some on the outer corner. With this brush, I've been loving using this brush. It's just like a random one in <laughs> my collection, but it's so good. Okay, we're going to do a little Starbucks break. Okay, so I cut the crease. So I'm thinking I kind of want to go into this bright yellow shade and put it in the inner part of the eye. I remember this one being such a beautiful, just such a gorgeous shade. Not one that you have to wet either. It's just like right off the bat, gorgeous. just want to put it all over but i kind of want to use that orange shimmer as well go into that orange shimmer and just apply it next to it here okay we do want to mix them together so i'm going to take a little bit of that yellow and just mix here yellow is so gorgeous i love the yellow shade was a little like going all over the place okay now that we have that on we're gonna take some of the italia deluxe liquid shadow in nude in ibiza and just tap it on the orange shadow a little bit kind of like in the in between just because this adds a little more shimmer Okay, just a little tad bit so that just added a little glimmer a little shine on the lid okay now that the top part of the eye is done we're gonna go into the ellie colors auto liner and this one is in black i love these they sell this at the dollar tree and on the shopping state website 
So we're going to take some marina tie line and put a little bit of it on the lower lash line as well. That red and that orange just going back and forth and going under here. I'm contemplating adding a little bit of yellow here as well. I think I am. Just to open up the eye just a little bit, we're going to add a little bit of that yellow. And you know what I just noticed? I didn't even apply any inner corner highlight. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so that is the eyes done. I think it looks pretty good. You obviously don't need this specific palette to do a hot cheeto look. It's just, I haven't touched it since then. So I did want to bring it out again. I, like I said, I don't think it's available anymore. And yeah, but it's really nice. But you can honestly get this look with any other palette. But yeah, so we got to play with this today. Now we're going to go into liner. For liner, we're going to go into my AOA Artista fine tip liner and this one's in black i haven't used it like i mentioned before you do to shake it before you use because it just makes it work better and this is the first time using the black one so let's see how this goes i've only ever swatched it on my hand So that is the liner. I mentioned time and time before that I love the green one. I love the brown one. All of them are so good. I own all of the liners in every color at this point in time. And they're just so amazing. They're only $1 on the Shop Missy website. Definitely recommend. This is so nice. Next, we're going to go into Ebony New York. And for this, we're using the Radiant Glitter Duo Stick. And this one's in Ruby Red Lippers. Now we're going to go in and use the glitter side and apply a glitter on top of the liner. I haven't used the glitter side, so let's see. It is meant to go on top of the color part, um, so it does come with the doe foot, but we're going to use it as a liner today. Okay, so that is the glitter on. I think it just added a little something extra. I'm just gonna take off the lip plumper. And I did wanna mention I bought some of these AOA makeup remover um, little sheets from the Shop Missy website. And I got mine in green tea. You know, I, I like them to like remove swatches and stuff, but for like all over the face to remove makeup, they're not that great. They're just a little drying. We're going to use my Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara just to apply some on the lashes. I think this look it looks pretty good. Apply like an excess amount of mascara. I just wanted them to be there. So next we're going to go into lip liner. We're using the Ellie Colors lip liner in fiery red to go under the Ebony New York one. So let's do that. Okay, going in with the lip color side. It's a gorgeous red. It tends to be a little drying, which I hope the liner helps um, with that, but it's such a pretty shade. I 
kind of with some brow tint just to kind of deepen up the brows a bit yeah it is quite sticky on the lips um i don't know if i'm gonna put some gloss on i feel like it just looks really nice like this but this is the flesh um lip gloss and this one's in hot sauce there's their hot sauce lip gloss and yeah but i think it looks good like this so i'm just gonna set everything using my beauty creations rose setting spray it's really nice so and it smells like baby baby powder it smells so good okay so this is the final look i love it it definitely looks like hot cheetos makeup and it just looks so good i'm so happy i love the lipstick and it goes perfectly with the glitter because it's the duo stick so it's amazing and the earrings everything just looks so perfect yeah so i hope you enjoyed i am noticing a little bit of breakup on the nose area <sighs> I don't know why that's weird but other than that everything looks amazing the eyeshadow palette performed great i'm so happy i have it and just everything else went on amazing i hope you enjoyed we made it to the end everything that i talked about today is going to be down below all the names of the prices as well as some videos that i uploaded last week don't forget that i upload every tuesday every thursday and every sunday three times a week so if you could stick around that would be amazing i have my insta handle displayed on the screen and post a little makeup finds from drugstore to high end so if that interests you go ahead and head there so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you are your own person and you make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like and i'll see you guys on the next one there's like a bird that's just wanting to come out in the video now you're quiet all right